Welcome to Thursday. It's the first day of August 2024. We're going to start off the first day of August right where we left July. Hot and mostly dry. Now the peak dryness is going to be today. Good time to get some hay dried out. You can see in the photo there, relative humidities are going to be rock bottom. Of course, that's exactly what you don't want in terms of the fire activity that's going on across the Intermountain West and the Western United States. But we will see extremely low humidity today. So if you've got a weather station at home, maybe that humidity sensor in your house, maybe if you're feeling like your skin is cracking, drying out, well, it's because relative humidities will be 10 to 15% or lower. Now on Friday, we are going to see a little bit of thunderstorm activity creep up along the front range of Colorado out on into the plains as the moisture that's been trapped down in Arizona, New Mexico is going to surge a little bit more northward tomorrow and into the weekend. But it's a process. It's slow evolving. What's slow evolving? The next monsoonal moisture plume. That's on schedule to sort of leak in slowly a little bit this weekend, but it's next week. Next week, we're going to be under a deeper moisture pattern. The moisture really increases in the atmosphere. And next week is going to be a much more active week of showers and thunderstorms. And hopefully for most of you, you'll get rained on. We certainly aren't guaranteeing rain for everybody. That just doesn't happen in the summer. But we do see at least better opportunities for higher humidity air and better chances of rain. This should go a long way to help out with the fire situation. But the real help is still a few days away when it comes to the fire situation. Luckily, we don't expect the wind to be much of a factor over the next few days, but we're gonna to continue to have colorful sunrises and sunsets, as you see there due to the smoke and haze. Sometimes a picture's worth a thousand words, and boy, this really is showing what is happening across the United States. The orange and the red shows the very dry air covering a lot of the Western United States. And you can see the sharp transition here between the edge of the moisture getting right up to the Four Corners area. We'll just do this a W for wet, D for dry. So you can see the subtropical moisture plume over Mexico into Arizona and New Mexico, but having a hard time getting northward because it's being suppressed by a strong ridge of high pressure and then very dry air coming right on into the region. What will happen on Friday, some of this gray down here that's making it in southern Colorado will kind of work its way up northward like this. And we'll show you that here in a minute, while areas west of the divide will continue to be dry. This is the relative humidity forecast by 6 p.m. mountain time. So you can see we have single digit relative humidities in Utah, Nevada, into eastern Washington and Oregon. Uh, you can see the front range of Colorado, but you see that higher relative humidity right there. That's in that subtropical moisture plume than out here onto the plains. But you can see bone, bone dry conditions will continue as we go through the day today. This is where we are with high pressure for this Thursday, right across the Intermountain West. Here's that low that kicked up the wind a little bit Tuesday and Wednesday heading into the Great Lakes. High pressure here is going to eventually tap into that deeper moisture, as you saw in the satellite imagery. It just takes a while. It's not moving very quickly to come up on in. This is the thunderstorm forecast for today. So you can see southern Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, down in the Panhandle regions, you're going to get a little bit of thunderstorm activity. This isn't good. This is dry thunderstorm activity. It's, it's not very widespread, but just one lightning strike saws, you need to cause some problems. So we don't want to see that there. There's just not a lot of moisture to work with. So this is where we're going to see a little bit of action today, maybe along the Colorado, Kansas border, a few isolated cells. This is where we're going to be with the precipitable water by tomorrow. Now by tomorrow, what I want you to, to visualize here is, is that there's a ring beginning to form of deeper moisture here, but also see the white and the green. There's a little bit of that nose coming up the Colorado Front Range and out on into the Eastern Plains. Still very, very dry west of the divide, but this dry pocket shrinking. This moisture coming up here will start to start to make an impact as we get into the weekend. So subtle little changes like this 
tomorrow will lead to this. So tomorrow, all the way up into the Nebraska Pandal, maybe up into the Black Hills, eastern counties of Wyoming, and look at the front range of Colorado. Now, not all of these will be rain producers, but they're going to start. And so this is something that we'll have for tomorrow. West of the divide, still not much going on. But this is the first little salve of a little push of subtropical moisture coming on in. By Monday, the high begins to shift eastward, and that's what we need to do. We need to see the high go a little more east. That allows this flow of air to be a little bit more productive coming on in. And when you look at the precipitable water map for Monday, it's very easy to know where the high pressure ridge is there. There you can see, we call this the ring of fire. So we're going to see showers and thunderstorms by Monday right along that ring of green and white as that subtropical moisture starts to move out of Mexico and now moves into the western United States. So this is our next best hope, getting some measurable rain on a more widespread basis. So for the weekend, we're going to see thunderstorm activity along that plume, but it gets pushed out eastward a little bit. But notice we're starting to see more getting a little bit more to the north and west. And we've showed you before this summer how this works. You'll see this axis of moisture over the days just kind of come like this as it rotates around the high. So this is Saturday. Sunday, you can see western Wyoming, Utah, the western slope of Colorado. You're going to get into a better chance of thunderstorms on Sunday. Monday, it stays very similar, starts to get a little bit more east of the divide. And really, as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, that's when the deepest moisture is going to be in place and those showers and thunderstorms are going to be coming on in. So there are some changes coming. We're not there yet, though. We're going to have to suffer through a very hot, dry day again today. Have yourself a good Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow.